Wednesday, and I've been out of work since Thursday. I had my two of my wisdom teeth and a molar pulse, and now I am on my way to replace a motor, a mounting bracket, and a wheel in a blower that was vibrating a lot. Uh, it didn't have the original mounting bracket, not the original motor. Uh, the wheel's not perfectly balanced, so we're just replacing it all. But um, the call was, it was making noise, and the customer called yesterday and said that the system stopped working, so moved him to today, and hopefully I get some good footage. Okay, so we're at the unit, and got our capacitor and a wiring disconnected. You can see our fan in there. You can see how it's off center. And there's our bracket and our motor. Uh, we did just turn the thermostat off just to see what would happen. And you hear the fan just tries to spin, but it doesn't spin. Maybe it'll do it now. Probably a little bit of a delay. Control board lights on. Did you turn the fan off back on, Peter? I didn't, I didn't turn it off. Okay. Let's see. Maybe it'll... I'll wait and wait for it. I can see you have really tough access. It's going to be tricky to get it out of here. Uh, there's not much movement either because it's pinned against the wall, but we'll figure something out. We are struggling to get it out. I can only get it this far, and the units push back as far as we can get it. So, I'm taking off this bracket. I got one more screw in here that I need the stubby to get to, and hopefully, that gives us just enough room. We'll see. Okay, so I had to bend the casing back and just really yank on it, disconnect the screws. Here we have our motor. I don't know if I caused that or if it was like that already. Leaning towards it was like that already, but it doesn't matter because it's getting replaced. So we'll bring it back to the truck and start working on it. So here's the uh, fan. See, it's very odd how this has like a support right here. It's not the same as the rest, but uh, this is where we're cracked and broken off, so I'd say both of these are contributing to vibration. First thing we do is break this. Locking that loose. out where my electric needs to go. motor with our sketchy bracket that's breaking right here as well from all the vibrations we have new everything else so we'll get that.
rattly. So we got a new wheel too. Parts from supplyhouse.com. I already opened it yesterday to make sure everything was correct, but here is our new mounting bracket with way thicker um, cushions, uh, bushings, I don't know what you would call it, to uh, prevent vibration. Okay, so now we're heading to Johnstone who has everything. Um, now that I have the motor out and everything, I can confirm that it's all right. Uh, I gave Supply House a model and we're in sale number and they said that was right. I wasn't able to get the motor information, the motor that was in there, so I guess I should have tried to get that to make sure it was right. But. Um, on my way now to get the right stuff and hopefully we can get that in and get them running okay so we got our correct motor this is a universal motor but it's the right one so this is what we'll be using and our new motor mount that fits everything they sent us was wrong On there, sit it roughly. Can you actually hand me the other with the motor right there? Stop it. And yeah, we're about the same height, so put it in about the same spot. bolts to secure it together. Get them on the finger tight for now. Can you hand me my little adjustable from the bag? That's not an adjustable. It's a channel lock. And we just made sure that these are all level. And they are. So now I can go ahead and tighten it fully. A 
little bit at a time. So don't want to over tighten it. And I'll go a little bit tighter. It's not touching everywhere yet. and hardware for the bracket so it doesn't vibrate. Or so that it can vibrate without making noise. Inserts. So the screws have something to catch on. Well, I 
mounting up our set screw bolt and our electric perfectly lining up, so I'm going to make the bracket a little bit tighter, because that's why it's not lining up. Got the motor, the wheel lined up correctly with the uh, housing, and it spins freely. It's a little bit wonky because it's on its side. Now I'm tightening the set screw. Actually, hold down please. I had a subscriber sit to use the service tool, so Let's see if I can get that on there. like doing that there's not much to grab on it it's easier with an adjustable because I don't want to strip it. And we are spinning freely. Let's see. I'm trying to find all oh, the rotations on here. We need to go that way, which is clockwise. gonna look it over and figure out the rotation and then we'll put it in okay so I got it all set up I got my wiring as neat as I could get it with keeping the reverse access wires or wires accessible and my capacitor 25 I made sure that's readable and then I mounted it in the upright position before it was upside down I don't know if it matters and I got my two wires with Wago set up so I can connect that to the line voltage. And time to put it in. Okay, so here we are. Now we need to try to get it back in. Okay, so we got everything back in. And now I have the amp meter click connector on to my power leads. And I'm going to just make sure that the amplitude is okay. And then I'll secure the wiring. You can turn it on. Rated for a little over five. And 
we're at 2.3 and the cover is off so it's not exactly accurate but looks like we're good okay, so we finished up there uh, it's in it's running it's nice and quiet no more rattling or anything like that vibration so it's very happy uh, that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed watching uh, if you did like the video comment if you would have done anything differently or have any criticisms or feedback and subscribe thanks for watching